Back with more ReZero web novel cut content that was missed from the anime from Witch Cult Translations. Last time we got to episode 15 and the craziest things I think is Belt being the lost Lugunica princess, right? And then perhaps Romji being a the the main handmaiden for felt that escaped with felt and you know made him made her survive the virus you know that you know that wiped out the royal family al being an isekai character who also doesn't have an arm who has like amnesia because he forgets episodic memories right the world of rezero is flat the great waterfalls are outside but i don't even know if the waterfalls are like going down or up right because like Think of it like this, right? How is the waterfall like uh, done? Hold up, hold up. Like, could you like 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 look look at the ReZero world here, right? Let me draw like this is the uh, the world, right? And I'm gonna draw the waterfalls here. Is the waterfalls big like this going up? You know, is the waterfalls going up? Or is the waterfalls going down at the edge of the world? Do you know what I'm saying? Because like... This could be happen. Because like we don't know where the top of the waterfall is. Like exactly. Is it falling onto the world or is it falling off the edge? Exactly. That's what I'm asking. Because do you know? Do you actually know? Did the story confirm? Because like... Because <laughs> like both, both situations, it could imply some crazy shit. It really could just imply some crazy shit. Like, like what exists at the top of the waterfall if it's falling down? Or what exists at the bottom? Like, who knows, right? Both? I, I don't know. It, it, it's, it's fucking crazy. It, it's fucking crazy if you really think about it. Maybe... I, I, I don't know. But it's something really fun to think about. All right. Let's start with episode 15 stuff. Rem holds some mixed feelings about the other residents of the mansion because of Subaru. Not really important. During the trip towards the Mather's Domain, Rem's uh, introspection and monologue reveal some feelings of jealousy over Subaru spending time with other people, which she admits her selfish. <laughs> Rem fucking hates Petra. However, she thinks him gentle and adorable when dealing with the other mansion residents. However, Amelia still irritates her because of her existence <laughs> as a half-elf. Rem also calls her a half-devil! <laughs> Yo! Rem! Being that the witch cult had affected her life too greatly, and we know the only clan got wiped out, I know. And also because she cannot bring herself to like or dislike Amelia. Oh my god. I never- I thought that Rem always showed like such utmost loyalty. Like I thought that she held Amelia in the highest regard possible. But now this is telling me that Rem does not like Amelia. She does not dislike, but it's kind of like this neutral state, right? It's like this neutral state of like, listen, what you represent and what the witch's cult has done to my clan is fucked up. But I know that you didn't really do it, but there's so much resemblance. Plus, you know, Subaru is chasing after you. What the fuck, bro? This is personal. Oh my god. I'll, I'll take a note of this. Okay. I thought, because like, think about Memory Snow. They're like getting drunk and having fun, right? Like, look at this shit. Uh, ReZero Memory Snow, Kaka Ka TV. Look at the thumbnail. Rem and Amelia, bro. They're like... <laughs> well, they are drunk. You know, Rem is drunk, but like... <laughs> it's crazy. I would have never fucking guessed that shit to happen. Also, by the way, 130 videos in the playlist. <laughs> 130 videos in the playlist. We just started ReZero Season 2. All right. Uh, next, what's going on? Shadow Garden Scene 3, relatively important. After dying, Puck, uh, fro after dying, frozen by Puck, while holding Rem's dead body. This is, you know, episode 15. Subaru finds himself in the dark ethereal realm again uh, and meets the shadow woman yet again, Satala. Every time he dies, or not even when he dies, when he's like, like unconscious, like he's not, he's not like awake, he can go to this realm. It's happened before too. Feeling intense emotions of love that he can't understand towards her. Feeling intense emotions of love towards her oh oh wait wait this is fucking crazy because this is not from her this is Subaru has so much love for Satala but he doesn't recognize why it is and again I think that the pact has been made in the loot cellar in the prologue 
ReZero, where Subaru was given the regression power with the trade-off of something. And of course, he lost the memories there, right? Just like how Echidna made a pact with Subaru and, and said that you have a pre-existing pact, so this should be fine. So, okay, okay. So Subaru has intense emotions of love towards Satella, but he doesn't understand because he lost the memories. To which she replies by grazing him with the fingertips and with the words, I love you yet again. Okay. Okay. That's interesting. Also, the Shadow Garden represents the dream ethereal realm. What does Shadow Garden mean? It's the dark ethereal realm, right? Does anyone know what Shadow Garden is? Or is it just like a random terminology that's used by witches cult translations to represent some shit to do with Satella when we meet Subaru? I'm just gonna assume that it's the dark ethereal realm. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna assume it's it's Satella, dark ethereal realm, Shadow Garden, fuck it, we'll just call it that. I don't know. Episode 16! Rem deems Al to be suspicious. What? More Al lore. Because remember, Al's an Isekai character. But he also forgets a lot of his memories. And Al seems to be aggravated that Rem is a... What? What's going on, Al? Why are you upset at my main girl, Rem? What the fuck? When Subaru and Rem go to visit the burial mansion together while trying to gather forces to protect Amelia in the third loop of Arc 3. Yeah, this is the Pig's Greed episode where Subaru tries to lick Priscilla's feet. There are two things of note. Once they enter the mansion, Rem seems to be sniffing something, which is miasma. Staring at the back of Al's helmet. Then once Subaru is led alone to Priscilla, Rem remarks that he should be especially wary of Al. After Subaru is knocked out and brought outside by Al, there is a short exchange where Al calls Rem by Ram's name because they're twins, they look alike. Rem clarifies that Ram is her sister. Al asks if her sister is still alive, to which Rem answers yes, and Al suddenly projects a ghastly aura which shocks Rem and Subaru both? Calmly down immediately afterwards he tells him to leave as soon as possible as he's not in a good mood and after they leave Al remarks you gotta be joking me so that's what it was it makes me want to puke what is happening with Al the amount of revelations that we're getting of Al cut content is fucking insane Isekai character lost his arm in the Valakian Empire. Sorry, Valakian Nation, right? Oh, what else happened? Uh, disfigured due to most likely attacks from the Archbishops onto the Valakian Empire when they were hyping up a different witch. Um, is now Priscilla's knight. Again, no arm. Where's that helmet? Isekai character forgets memories, episodic memories. He remembers names, cultures, important things. But he forgets events of sometimes, right? But he remembers something to do with Ram. And he's upset that Ram is alive. You gotta be joking me. So that's what it was. Makes me want to puke. He is upset. Why? Why? And the ghastly aura? A witch's miasma coming from Al? But it's from the helmet. I'm not sure. Staring at the back of Al's helmet is a very intentional wording, right? Maybe the miasma isn't coming from Al, but more of from an item, an object, like the helmet specifically. I don't even know the lore of the helmet. Who gave him the helmet? Did Priscilla give him the helmet? Did he get the helmet as a... I don't know. Did he get the helmet from Volakia? I, I, I don't know, but like... Staring at the back of the helmet is kind of important. I don't know if it's coming from that, but which is miasma from Al? What the fuck? Is the helmet a media? Good question. You think that this is the media that was touting the... Uh, it was it was increasing the clout for other witch other than Satala. Then the witch's cult got mad and destroyed it. That's a good one. That's a good question. Absolutely. If we assume that the helmet is leaking miasma, then perhaps it's a meteor associated with the witch. For sure, I could assume that. I could see that. But what the fuck? But why Ram? 
What is Ram? We know that Ram is an Oni. Twin sisters. Prodigy. Lost the horn. And now it is a maid at Roswell's mansion. But Roswell L. Mather is also... Prefers Ram over Rem. 100%. There is a connection between Ram and Roswell that maybe we will learn more and more as Season 2 progresses. And maybe that connection with Roswell is why Al hates Ram. Maybe Roswell sent Ram to do some shit in the past. Some shady shit. And that's why Al hates Ram? That's the only way I can assume this. <laughs> maybe Al lost his arm to Ram? I mean, hey, I'm open to any idea. I, I am down for literally fucking anything right now. As long as there's like a shred of fucking... Uh, like partial truth, I, I'm willing to entertain any idea. But this is crazy. I think that this probably has to do with Roswell more than Ram. And Ram's association with Roswell and the actions causing Al to hate her. Makes me want to puke. I don't think Al's a bad guy though. I don't. If we think about, again, the constellations, Pleiades being the star group that Albatross or Albatron, his name, right? The, the one that follows, right? It follows Pleiades. Al follows Subaru. Al is very variable to Subaru. I, I don't think Al's an enemy. At least right now. Maybe I'll be proven wrong. Fuck, I don't know, bro. I don't know. Yeah, Kyodai? Exactly. Kyodai? Well, it's a bit of familiarity. Al, since his, um, there was a specific phrase that Subaru said, some red string of fate or some shit. It's some, it's some like Isekai otherworlder shit, right? It's like a phrase that Al is familiar with and was like, hold the fuck up. You know, like, are, are you kind of like me? And that's why there's some level of like hospitality there. But that's fucking crazy. <gasps> there is a third person from another world. How is this not really important? During Subaru's talk with Anastasia for procuring a dragon carriage, she questions him about his birthplace and Subaru nonchalantly reveals that he's from the great beyond the great waterfall because you know saying you're from the beyond the great waterfall is basically saying you're in other world or like how Priscilla assumes that Al is beyond from beyond the great waterfall right Anastasia comments that once in a very great while there will be stories about people from beyond the great waterfall and comments that Subaru should study up on the ocean of the wilderness a historical figure from whom she borrowed her name Hoshin Anastasia, Hoshin Private Army. It's there's lore about that. Hoshin of the Wilderness is a historical figure. This isn't unimportant that is revealed again later in the story. So it seems like Hoshin of the Wilderness is another person from another world. So it sounds like, it sounds like um, in the world of ReZero, people are often summoned here, just like Al, like Subaru, and presumably the Hoshin of Wilderness. For whatever reason, these. Figures beyond the Great Waterfall disappear, right? Quite often. Once in a while, this shit happens. Now, I think that Al and Subaru... I bet it's not like... Like, how old is Al? 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s? But I don't think Al is too off from Subaru, right? Like, I don't think Al is tripling Subaru's age. So... There is definitely potential. It says every once great while. Who knows how much time frame that is? But it's it sounds like, it does sound like, in this world of ReZero, people getting summoned here, as in like people beyond the Great Waterfall, is like a common occurrence. Why is that a common occurrence? I don't know. Cause, I'm still assuming the Satel is the one that brought Subaru over. But then do we just assume the Satel is the one that's constantly fucking bringing other worlders here? Satel has a connection with Al. I don't know, but that's very, very interesting. All right, we're going to end it there for now. I want to do I want to do a lot of these readings. I don't want to just gloss over these ones either. I want to make these videos like 15, 20 minute videos and just like read this shit and deeply think about it and try to make some schizo theories. But that's it for me. I'll see you next time.